everybody and welcome back to the SMA YouTube channel. Today our guest is Dr. Donna Pastori from our very own program. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Me too. So to get us started, can you please give us a brief description of your career journey and how you ended up as a professor at Ohio State? Sure. Um, when I first uh, graduated from college, I, I thought I was going to be a coach and a teacher. Uh, I had played college softball, and um, eventually I wound up coaching college for six years, women's pass pitch, and I soon realized I was not a very good coach. Um, I was a much better teacher, and so I decided that after coaching, um, I better stick with teaching because um, I didn't have very many wins as a coach. Um, <laughs> And I also always enjoyed being in the classroom with the students. So my career has really uh, been emphasizing, you know, more on the teaching side. And, and I love every minute of it. That's awesome. Um, so what courses do you teach for the master's program? And also if you want to list some of the ones for the undergrad program. Sure. I, um, I teach three graduate courses. I teach um, human resource management which is 6808 at Ohio State. We like to use numbers. Um, and, and human resource management is really leadership and, you know, human resources that go along with leadership. Um, I also teach event and facility management. And then I teach a class that's called the Sport Colloquium. And the Sport Colloquium is a class that's combined with master's and PhD students. And we change the topics a lot in that class. And last year, we focused on the Summer Olympics. So those are the three courses I teach at the graduate level. Um, I teach uh, one undergraduate course called Leadership and Programming in the Sport Industry. And, and this class is really comprised of, obviously, leadership, but the second half of programming is really having the students put together a business plan for an event. And I've been teaching that class since I got hired here, which was in 1991. So it's the one class I've been teaching for almost 30 years here. <laughs> That's super cool, though. That sounds like a fun class. Um, so it sounds like you have interests in event facility management and also leadership. Um, is that kind of what your research focuses on, or what other interests do you have when it comes to research? Uh, yeah, I, early on when I was doing research, I was interested in uh, women in sport leadership roles. And I, I did a lot of that research uh, looking at women in coaching roles and in athletic administrative roles. Um, then myself, I went into administration, academic administration, and I really became very interested in mentoring, mentoring faculty and helping faculty be su successful. So as I've transitioned back to the faculty, I would say that more of my research is focused on mentoring and mentoring in a broad perspective of, you know, with working with students and working with faculty. Okay. Yeah. And as I've heard from a lot of people and also experienced myself, mentoring is a huge um, part of the sport industry. Uh, super important to getting the foot in the door for a career. Um, what would you say has been the highlight of your career thus far? I would say the highlight of my career has been working with a new group of students every year. Um, having been here, you know, since 1991, um, I have seen groups of students come and go. And I think having them come back to campus and visit is a highlight too. But watching the students grow, um, every single class has their own personality. They're all different. Um, but one thing that's consistent is great students. Um, just absolutely have enjoyed our students the most. <laughs> I could agree with that, based, just based on my class. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um, what is your favorite memory, aside from spending time with the students, from your time spent with the sport management program in particular? I think my favorite memory is my first year as a faculty member because I got hired with uh, uh, two gentlemen. And so the three of us came in together, um, not knowing one another, um, but really getting along very well and, and you know, working over the years together. Uh, that was Dr. Dennis Howard and Dr. Chella Chella Durai. So Chella and Dennis were just wonderful colleagues and wonderful mentors. And, you know, I just, when I think back, I just reflect on those first few years. I mean, it was just wonderful. And, and I have wonderful colleagues now, um, but there was something very special about that first year at Ohio State. 
That makes sense. And Cella's textbook is what we used, correct? <laughs> correct. Um, Cella, uh, this is his third edition of the textbook. So, um, yeah, we're, we're using yeah, his work. Welcome kind of well. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your advice to incoming graduate students? I guess my advice to incoming graduate students is to keep your motivation, um, to set time aside every day for you to do some schoolwork and to, uh, you know, enjoy doing some writing and working in groups because our classes will cover, you know, having you do writing assignments and, and working in groups. Um, so keeping motivation, um, staying positive. I think it's very hard today to stay positive with the COVID-19 situation, but I would say keep staying positive. And probably most of all is be yourself. You know, be who you are, let your voice be heard, and uh, you know, that's important. I definitely agree. Um, kind of on the flip side, what advice would you give to students who are entering the current sports job market that's been so terribly affected by the pandemic? You know, I was thinking about this and I was reflecting back on the last time Ohio State had this type of situation was with um, 1917, 1918, when the Spanish <laughs> flu hit. And, uh, you know, that closed the university just as we were closed. Um, but then if you keep going along in the history, in the early 1920s, that's when Ohio Stadium was built. And the first home game they had in the stadium, it was sold out. And I think it was close to 70,000 people. So my suggestion would be is that hang in there because sports will come back. Sports is so important to you know, our country and to all of us. Um, it may take a little bit of time for it to come back, but it will come back. Um, and it just might be a little bit of patience right now. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing is patience and just knowing that, like you said, it's going to come back. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, we'll be back in Ohio Stadium, over 100,000 people. Um, you know, that will come. You know, again, we just have to wait a little bit of more than we want to wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I saw a picture. It wasn't from Ohio Stadium. I think it was from another um, college game from 1918, and they were all wearing masks um, mm -hmm. in the stands. I was like, I don't even know if we're going to get to that point this year, but hopefully we do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a fluid situation right now, and, and, you know, it's day by day. The only thing we know is we don't know anything right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't make anything much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what transferable skills do you think are most important to be successful in the sport industry? I think of three transferable skills. Um, I think leadership is very important. And I think that's something that um, you can learn more about in graduate school um, and, and through maybe the experiences that you'll get as a graduate student. So leadership. I think communication is also very important. Um, and that's something that you will develop as a grad student. Uh, you will develop that in and out of the classroom, you know, with the activities that we do in class, but then the projects that we'll have you do outside of the class. So you'll learn to communicate with people. And I think the third skill is organization. I think it's important to be organized. So if, if you can work on developing your leadership, communication and organization, those are three skills you can take anywhere. Yeah, I definitely agree. And I know through the time that Ohio State gives us, at least in the program, to gain practical experience, those skills are definitely um, important and you build upon them when you're given that time to get that experience. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of switching gears, who has influenced you the most in your career and how? I would say my mentor for my career was Dr. Linda Thornton. Um, she was a faculty member at the University of Florida, and I, that's where I did my undergraduate, and my master's degree was at University of Florida, and my very first uh, semester there at University of Florida, I had her for a class, and I was just so impressed with her, and I had the opportunity to have a number of classes over the years with her, and then, uh, you know, after we graduated, we stayed in touch, and she just was everything I wanted to be. I think she was a great role model. Um, she was a wonderful teacher. 
and she always, you know, gave to her students. So I learned a lot from her and I owe her a lot. Um, in fact, some of the assignments that I use in my undergraduate class are some of the assignments I had from her. Um, like one thing I do with the undergraduate class is I give them an optional notebook where they can get some extra credit. And that was something that she had us do in our class. Uh, so that's the kind of influence that she had on me. That's awesome. Um, so thinking back just out of all time, what would you say is your favorite sports memory? Well, some of you might not like this, but I think the 1972 Miami Dolphins, when they went 17, <laughs> up, my all-time favorite. Um, I was able to attend a lot of those games. Um, I grew up with the Miami Dolphins because I'm from the Fort Lauderdale, Florida area, and I just it just amazes me still that they were undefeated that year. Um, to me, that's my all-time favorite. That would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talk a lot about the Dolphins in class. Too, so. We do. <laughs> <laughs> this year it wasn't exactly always the greatest conversation, but... <laughs> That's true. The Dolphins need a lot of help, and I, I think they drafted well, so we'll see yeah. how they do. <laughs> I'm excited to see how that pans out. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> um, last but not least, if you could describe Ohio State in three words, what would they be? I thought about this for a while, and I, I say the great students. <laughs> I think because that works pretty well. I think what makes Ohio State are the students, um, and we are very fortunate as faculty to have wonderful students year in and year out. Um, again, we get some a lot of applications every year for the program, but we, you know. Um, take in the best that we can from a student perspective. And every year, the students continue to amaze me. So I like that. The great students. <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, awesome. Thank you so much for providing your insight today. It was fun hearing about your interests and your role that you play in the program and the university. And um, hopefully the students watching this will be able to look forward to having you as a professor. Well, thank you for having me. I just want to point out that this picture in the background is Mirror Lake on campus. And so when you do come to campus, be sure to visit Mirror Lake. It's one of the prettiest parts of the campus and it's a great place to sit out and have a nice lunch. So um, I appreciate the opportunity and look forward to meeting our new students. Thank you. Thank you.